Hello, friends. A lot has happened since we last talked and I don't really have time to fill y'all in. So let's just cut straight to the chase. So last Saturday, our friends and brothers came to help us move. We only moved all of the big stuff. So we still have, you know, those little small pesky knickknack things still in the old apartment. So we're busy, um, you know, doing that decluttering, throwing out things that need to be thrown out so that we're not bringing junk into the new place. I really wanted to do a moving day vlog, but I hmm, I don't really like vlogging um, when I'm trying to be in the moment, which is why I'm so inconsistent. I don't, especially when I have my friends and family around. I just really value their presence and the time that I get to spend with them. And so I don't like having my camera out in those moments. And there were about seven or eight of our friends here helping us move. And I cooked for them. It was a really nice day. It was, I, I love the community that the Lord has planted us in. And I'm just so, so grateful for them. So I never want to like even remotely feel like I'm exploiting those relationships. So it's just best that I keep them off of camera in general. And then also I just really value my privacy these days. You know, I have lived on the internet for really over 10 years because I got on the internet in 2012. So I've been living on the internet for about 11 years and I don't know, it's like the older I get, the more I value my privacy. So the things that you guys do see or the things that I don't mind showing you guys, how can I say this? It's like, how, how does it benefit you from you seeing certain pieces and certain portions of my life? If it doesn't benefit you in any kind of way, you're not going to see it. But let me tell you what's going to benefit you, girl. Okay, you need some cleaning motivation. You need some organizing motivation, especially if you just moved. And listen, I am the type of woman, especially when we move, I'm always like an energizer bunny because I just want to get everything unpacked, everything, like I want to get my home together, right? Like I, I, I want to get everything settled. But this time y'all, I have just been taking it day by day. I've been moving so slow. Matter of fact, I've been in the bed more than anything, just kind of like relaxing and just really taking my time and I've been really, I've been in this state of gratitude for the luxury that is, I can just stop whatever I'm doing and get in the bed whenever I don't feel like doing something, you know? But today I told myself, we have to get up and be productive. So I have suits on in the living room right now. I just started binging suits, it is so bad. I just got finished cleaning our TV in the living room, but I need to finish getting like all of the boxes that we have currently, I need to unpack those and get everything set in place so that we can start moving the rest of the knickknack small stuff in. I just, I have a process in my head and I hope that it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I just have to move a little bit faster than what I have been doing. So girl, if you need some cleaning motivation, if you need some organizing motivation, if you just need some background noise, <laughs> this is the video of you, okay? So I'ma just bring y'all on with me, like whatever I'm doing. And that's gonna be that, okay? Let's go. My to-do just got home from school. She had uh you had a popsicle? <laughs> Today was water day at school, so. She I go look. down the slide. You went down the slide? Yep. On the um, water slide? Yep. Was it fun? Yep. So we're about to dust. Um, I don't really want to put her on camera because she does not look as presentable as I would like her to. I'm, I'm a precious Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to say hi. Hi. Your hair got wet at school? Mm-hmm. I did. This the one so it was very fast. Very fast. So you take the duster and any white dust that you see, you see all this white dust? Oh yeah. From Uncle Ben putting up the shelf. You gotta dust it away. These swiffer dusters, by the way, are the bomb. I love these so much. Uncle Ben did it. Uncle Ben did it. Yeah, Uncle Ben did that. <laughs> Oh, 
course. I don't know how this thing came off. It is after church. The kiddos are taking their Sunday nap. I literally had to force my toddler to get in the bed and close her eyes because listen, we don't force naps on her anymore. But uh home girl has been tripping lately. And I said, oh no, God, you need a nap today, whether you want to take one or not. So uh, I had to be mama bear and force my will on her today. Ooh, Jesus. I want to take a nap so bad. I could just cry right now. I have not been sleeping well lately at all. I don't know what it's been or like, I don't know why, but... I just haven't been sleeping well and then I've still been getting up at my usual time which is 5 but today oh my gosh I got up at 5 52 so I literally hopped out of bed and had to rush to get ready so I didn't even have my me time this morning because I was just busy trying to get myself together before the girls and everybody else wakes up everybody else the girls and my husband <laughs> so yeah church was amazing as always um, I wasn't gonna cook today but i have to because i am so sick and tired of spending money on food and if we have food at the house we gonna eat at the house and um i was supposed to cook my chicken pot pie last week but i did not have any cream of chicken soup which made me really upset because i really wanted my chicken pot pie that day but i ended up going to target and getting my cream of chicken soup so that's what I'm gonna cook for dinner today. I am gonna show y'all how I make it, but this is literally the laziest chicken pot pie recipe you will ever find, like ever. This is what I do when I don't feel like making anything from scratch, don't feel like chopping up any vegetables or you know, cooking the chicken from scratch or cooking the pie from scratch. Hey, it's Sunday, I'm not taking my Sunday nap and listen baby, we just gonna do it lazy girl style, okay? I need to clean this kitchen before I start cooking though because I hate cooking in a dirty kitchen. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then I also need to figure out if I wanna make a TikTok. I don't know, I think I'm gonna film a TikTok. Okay, let's clean this kitchen and then we'll get to cooking. Let me tell you about these cookies from Arby's. Peanut butter cup cookies from Arby's are literally some of the best cookies I have ever had in my life. And they're so thick and peanut buttery. If you love peanut butter, if you love Reese's, these are so good. I promise, these will change your life, honey, okay? I'm gonna hide them in my cabinet so that my toddler don't ask me for any because I am not sharing these. slicing and dicing and cooking the chicken. We're gonna use pre-sliced and diced chicken. <laughs> this is um, Tyson's grilled and ready oven roasted diced chicken breast. And these are really, really good. Whenever I don't feel like doing fresh chicken, I always get this kind and it works perfectly. We're gonna do garlic, onion, badia. This is some of my favorite seasoning. I always get seasoning everywhere every time I cook. And a little bit of Italian. And these are the four main seasonings that I always use on everything, honey. But let me show you what I've recently been using that's really, really good. This stuff, Kinder's Roast Chicken with Garlic and Herbs. This is so good. My husband actually bought this and used this when he was cooking one night and I fell in love. It is so, 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 so good. So you just give that a stir. I need to put more butter in here, actually. So normally I cook with G butter instead of the stick butter. I just prefer G butter because it's clarified and doesn't burn as easily as the stick butter, but because we just moved, I don't really have all of my uh, cooking things that I usually use. And then I also don't have any silverware, so I'm working with these knives here. 
just want to let that cook. We're going to use some Pillsbury pie crusts. And when the chicken is cooking, you want to take these out and bring them to room temperature so that they roll roll out more easily. These are really good when you don't feel like making your pie crust from scratch. And this time I got two pie crusts so that the crust is a little bit thicker because I love thick pie crusts. So yeah, I'm gonna roll two crusts together so that it's like a thicker pie crust. I don't know where my new dish just went. I had to buy a new um, pie dish because I don't have mine. I have to wash this because I just bought it. But this is the one that I got. This is a deep round pie dish. Is this a pie dish or it's just a deep round dish? Add everything to the bowl. Okay, we got our chicken in the bowl. Now we're gonna add our mixed veggies. Yummy. Our frozen mixed veggies. Bowl. Yummy. This is what it looks like. Yummy. Chicken is under there. And then you literally just take two cans of cream of chicken soup. Campbell's is my favorite. Do not use another brand or you're going to be mad. Trust me. Shake that in the bowl. Oh my gosh, I'm getting this everywhere. <laughs> Jesus. Just mix everything up. Yep, it is gonna be a mix. That's the base, y'all. This is the filling. This is all you do. Make the chicken, season it up a bit, pour the mixed veggies in, and then dump two cans of the cream of chicken soup, and that's that. Normally, Alora will come over here and eat the filling, <laughs> even when it's not cooked, because it is that good. Here she comes. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna layer them like this, and hopefully they come out pretty well and you just add your filling and you just kind of spread it in there I promise y'all this is the easiest laziest chicken nah it, it could probably actually be a little bit lazier but I like for my Popeyes to taste good <laughs> so this is my lazy version so it's good and pressed in there rolled on top and then because this is a deep dish, I don't think I can like pinch it together. So I'm gonna makeshift it and kind of just like tuck it. I'm not trying to make this cute. I'm just trying to make it. Okay, so just like the other one, I'm gonna put the last crust right on top so that it's nice and thick. This is probably going to take longer than it normally does for my pies to cook, but okay you cook it on 375 for about 60 ish minutes 45 to 60 minutes this is what it looks like around the pie i mean it's in there it's just gonna take forever i think hopefully not as long as the crust gets cooked because the chicken is cooked and the vegetables are frozen it shouldn't really take that long <laughs> Take your fork and stab the middle, but you kind of want to stab it deep because this uh, crust is pretty thick. So I'm going to do a couple of stabs. And then you just stick it in the oven. 375 for about 60 minutes. And you're good to go. Hello, beautiful people, and good morning. It is Monday. I don't even think it is 10 o'clock yet. I've been up since 4.45. I've had my caffeine i have taken my shower i of course i've prayed and did my devotional and i read and i studied and i did my makeup early i was just telling my friends over on instagram how amazing it feels to wake up early and just start my morning routine i have my routines on lock okay although i am tired because i didn't sleep that well last night i feel really really good because i just have a head start on today okay so i have already filled out my i, I filled out my to-do list last night we have that here the baby is asleep if you hear the the buzzing in the background that's the monitor this week is a really busy work week i have a ton of work to catch up on so today i have to shoot a campaign that's not going to take long at all because it's only for 
stories. I have to edit a video for my beauty channel that I actually forgot I have filmed. I filmed it like a week before we moved so I can have that up and ready to go for Wednesday's upload on my beauty channel. So I have done the budget for the rest of the month. I have to go grocery shopping. I have to, to not just groceries but I need all of the household items. So what I've done that helps me a ton, that helps all of us as a family a ton. Because we were so used to running back and forth to, we go to the store almost every single day because if we run out of something, we go to the store and then we buy more than what we need. So we're literally spending at least $60 at the very least every time we go to the store or just every time we step foot out of our house in general, it's ridiculous. So what I've done, I have made a master store list and a master shopping plan so i spent a lot of time kind of like figuring i spent a lot of time figuring this out and like it's really thorough and really thought out and i have a super organized don't worry i'm working on something so that you guys can have this and do your own just just give me a few months so the idea is you write down the number that you want to spend a week or bi-weekly or even monthly on groceries and household items. So the things that you buy regularly at the store, like all of the things that you always buy, no matter what. You make a budget for that. You list out everything that you buy on the regular. So for me, I broke it down into categories, right? Main breakfast, main lunch, main dinner, snacks, and then main household slash person, personal care items. So I wrote down main stores at the top. So the main stores that we shop at are Aldi, Trader Joe's, Walmart, and Target. Anything outside of those stores, anything outside of this list in general is counted as miscellaneous and we have to allocate a certain amount of money towards miscellaneous items. And I'm, I'm gonna show you how we do it. And like I said, this will be available for you to download and you can either put it in good notes or you can like print out the pdf and laminate it and write it in that way just give me a few months so i have written here we make bi-weekly trips to sam's club for paper items and items that can be purchased in bulk so we have a sam's club membership my mother-in-law has a bj's membership but like any store like costco sam's bj's whatever any store that you can purchase items in bulk at. <laughs> I wrote down all of the items that we need, not want, but we actually need to purchase in bulk so that we don't keep running back and forth when we run out. And those items, and, and these are the main items that are just so reoccurring that like it really adds up when we don't purchase them in bulk so like we have paper towels and paper plates lysol laundry sanitizer because i cannot live without my lysol laundry sanitizer dishwasher pods body armor and energy drinks i still drink body armor that's like my main drink choice because i'm still nursing elliot and i both drink energy drinks every single day so body armors and energy drinks eggs breakfast meat disinfectant wipes that's for your hands and for surfaces so those are the items in bulk that we purchase and then i went into the weekly grocery list so we do bulk items bi-weekly and then every week we have a main grocery list and i allocated 150 dollars a week a week on the main grocery items and the idea is to just buy these items every single week so that you know we don't run out right so main breakfast we do fruit a carb i wrote down the main lunch items the main dinner items and the main snack items and i'll show you guys how i do this like in depth if you want me to go into that the menu that i tend to stick to i have a formula for everything okay so like for breakfast and i share this over on instagram if you're not following me on instagram follow me over there because i share a lot of my stories so like for the breakfast my breakfast formula is always fruit a breakfast carb a breakfast meat and eggs we don't have anything outside of that formula like ever so according to that formula i'll purchase the groceries necessary for that week like i'll switch it up but the formula always stays the same so we do eggs we do a breakfast meat we do a carb whether that's like muffins 
pancakes, waffles, toast, whatever. We do fruit and that's our that's our main breakfast. I also have a main lunch and dinner formula. So again, I'll go into all of this in depth if you want me to. But yeah, I just listed every single thing that we always buy on a reoccurring basis. And then I also put our main household slash personal, personal care items. But some of these can be tentative. Okay, so I actually put here purchase when needed. So like toothpaste, new toothbrushes, feminine care products, razors, deodorant. Obviously those things don't need to be purchased every single week. But I'm also not going to say they need to be purchased every single month because some of the items that I have on here don't really need to be purchased every single month. So that's why I listed a tentative list and like it's super organized. I cannot wait until you guys are going to be able to get your hands on this because it when I tell you it makes my life so easy, especially with my ADHD brain. I feel like I can just breathe. I feel like I have a plan. We can stay on budget. So let me tell you our budget because I know like some of this can be kind of unrealistic. Like when you see videos like this that don't really share the numbers, I'm going to share my numbers. And then I also put important notes here. So I roll everything out by hand. But I also put it in my notes and I shared it with my husband. So we both have access to this list and to these notes so that we both can reference it, reference it when needed. So like the important notes, some of them I have look for deals and coupons before store runs and something that I'm getting into hobby wise is couponing. And then um, I just have sign up for reward programs when necessary. Reward programs are like if you are continually purchasing things you need to be signing up for reward programs and again I can share like all of the the good ones that we use in a different video do an inventory of what's already at the house before a store run is so important oh my god and then I think the most important one here do not buy anything outside of master list without first discussing with spouse and adding to budget for the month. So I wrote here that $1,000 should cover this plan. And I'll be honest and say most of the time we overspend and um, that number can sometimes be double. Because again, if you're running back and forth to the store every single day and you're spending 60, 70, sometimes 100 plus dollars every time, that adds up, which is why I did all this because I was like, oh my God, there's literally no reason why we should be spending this much money on a monthly basis. It's ridiculous. So the overarching budget for everything, including the miscellaneous items, I put 1.3K, so $1,300, but I feel like $1,500 is more reasonable because we tend to, you know, buy miscellaneous items more than we realize we do. I forgot to put on my lip, but I intentionally didn't put it on because I still have to eat breakfast. But anyway, again, I can go into depth at a later time in a later video if that's something that you guys are interested in. So if it is, comment down below and let me know because I'm like super excited about this. But please keep in mind that this is just what works for our family. These are the numbers that work for our family. And I think it's important to just sit down and do all of this and really look at the things that you purchase on a reoccurring basis so that you can just create a solid budget so that you're not overspending. So yeah, I just kind of like took a step back, looked at the bigger picture and really created a plan for my family and I that we feel comfortable with, but also we can save money we can, you know, just have a little bit of fun when we want to, not like go too crazy or anything, but this really grounds us and keeps us focused so that we can hit our financial goals and just our goals in general, because we have a lot going on. We're about to start building a house. We're big givers. So like it, it like all of this is like a snowball effect. And if it doesn't start with this first, then everything is just a hot mess. My husband and I are on this discipline kind of journey, challenge, whatever, kick. And I think it's, and, and the crazy thing is, we at my church were in a series about poverty and like budgeting and money in general. And all of what we're doing goes hand in hand with what we're learning at church. And we, I actually started doing this and implementing this 
before we started the series so this was before august is when i started doing all of this and i feel like us being in the series is just god's way of like confirming that like y'all are really on the right path you're doing good and i'm gonna bless you because of it and it feels good i said all of that to say i have to shoot my campaign i have to edit but i also have to go grocery shopping and then i have to make my weekly dinner menu for this week because i haven't done that yet because i have not gone grocery shopping yet so that's something that we have to do but i have a tentative i always have a tentative list on my to-do list so like if i don't get to something on the to-do list it's fine like I, i've been really being kind to myself and giving myself grace and i do not beat myself up if i don't get every single thing on this to-do list finished as long as i get all of like the the priority things finished I'm good. So yeah, those are the main things. Shoot the campaign, start editing, go grocery shopping. Really the main two things are this campaign and go grocery shopping. Everything else is pretty much tentative, but I do wanna be productive and get all of this stuff done, which is why I woke up at the butt crack of dawn. I've done my morning routine. I have taken Elena on a walk. I got some sunshine in my face and everything is Gucci. I am on my way to Ross and if I don't find what I'm looking for in Ross I will go to TJ Maxx but let me tell you what I'm looking for we need some food storage containers so not necessarily Tupperware but we definitely need something along those lines and let me tell you honey let me put y'all on let me give you the tea Ross TJ Maxx Marshalls Home Goods all of those stores most of the things that I need to purchase that are on my list I can find at the stores that I'm about to go to. Those of you that do not already know, Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Burlington, Marshalls are literally my favorite stores in the entire world. Oh my god, especially Ross and Burlington. Girl, you literally cannot find a better deal on certain things than you can at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Ross Burlington you you just can't those are my stores now I am on the time crunch because Elora gets out of school soon and I might as well go pick her up because it's actually almost noon already so hopefully I can find what I'm looking for in just one store but if not TJ Maxx is literally right down the street from Ross like I can almost walk to it then I also have to hit up Kohl's so that I can make an Amazon return and then I also have to uh, go to Buff City Soap because that's where I get my laundry detergent but I don't need detergent I need my uh, dryer balls because we don't have any more of those and I no longer use dryer sheets I haven't used dryer sheets and I don't know how long but I don't use them anymore because they're toxic and I am slowly but surely eliminating all of the toxins out of our home. Let's hit up TJ Maxx and Ross and see what we can find. Slippers are on my list and they always have really nice slippers. So here we are. See, this is what I'm talking about. And these are glass container sets. A set of 16, so I'm assuming that you get eight of the containers. And this is only 25 bucks. I'm trying to tell y'all, Ross is that girl, honey, okay? Yep, comes with eight containers. I'm excited about this because they're glass and the last set I had were plastic. And I'm into it, I'm here for it. Love this for me. Let's see what else they have. Yep. Oh, there's some more scents over here. I need some coasters. I need some soap dispensers. I need some freezer bags. So that's what I'm looking for in here. I've been looking into getting one of these too and ordering it on Amazon, but they have it here. So I might as well just get it here too because I can't stand chopping onions and like if I want to chop my bell peppers, I can put them in my ninja, my ninja chopper, 
but it turns into like a uh, watery, like I don't want a salsa, you know? So I think I'm gonna put this in my cart. There are a million people in the store right now and I'm not understanding why because it is literally noon on a Wednesday. Like, why are y'all here? Anyway, I found everything that I was looking for and right now I'm trying to figure out if I should get these plates. Like this, this, this um, set, let me show you It's literally just a basic, dinnerware set and it's a 16 piece so it serves four people if they're just basic white the last set we have i think it was for four people as well um they were just basic i got them from bed that and beyond and this set right here is only 20 bucks and i have two of them so i'm like should i just get this or since we use paper plates most of the time because i don't be feeling like doing dishes and we already run the dishwasher enough should i just get some bowls because we do need bowls and they do have more bowl options available here so i'm looking at this set here and these are dinner bowls so these are only nine dollars and they're really nice i think i'm just gonna do bowls for now and um get the whole entire dinnerware set later because we're not going to use all of these right now especially because we just use paper plates so i'm going to get these dinner bowls and i'll probably get just some other basic cereal bowls because i eat cereal so i'm going to get these dinner bowls oh let me show you what else i ended up finding so i have my chopper i was trying to figure out if i wanted another wooden cutting board but i don't really like the wooden cutting boards because one you have to hand wash them you cannot put them in the, the dishwasher and two I don't like putting my meat on a wooden cutting board, so I found this one. It has a carving area here, so, and then the juices are not going to run out because it has a border, so this one is perfect. This is only $10 as well. And then you guys, the reason why I'm here is because I was looking for meal prep containers and they had one and I found them. It's a 20 piece set, which means... It comes with 10 containers and 10 lids. This is perfect. Elliot is gonna be so happy. And they're deep enough. They're deep and wide enough. I'm not really an aesthetic girly, so it doesn't really matter if my stuff matches or not. I found these set of six cereal bowls for $4. So I'm just gonna get them because I don't really need. Um, everybody keeps looking at me like I'm crazy. I don't really need glass bowls right now, so I'm just gonna get these plastic ones of color today. Hurry up and try to say this, and then I gotta go because I, I, ju I just can't. I'm starting to get overstimulated. I found my coasters. I was actually gonna go to Target for my coasters, but I found these. It's a set of four for six dollars. Please, like, please, you cannot tell me this is not the best store in the universe. We just had our lunch for the day. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to, like, do I want to cook or do I want to get this activity area together? So, um, I bought this table from Office Depot. It's such a cute table. It was actually on sale for only $60. And I bought it as an activity table for Elora so that she can, you know, keep learning because we are very... Um, intentional about her education we always have been and she is only three she can read she can write she can spell she can you know she, all of the things she knows all of her letters all of her numbers all of her colors all of the shade all of the things and so we were like okay she has one more year until she goes to kindergarten she has been in pre-k since she was two and we just want to make sure that even though we already know she's well equipped, we just want to make sure that she's just 100% ready to go to kindergarten when she's supposed to. So we like to do activities with her, you know, on the regular so that she can continue her education because right now she is in summer camps. She's not necessarily in school. And so I just thought it would be a cool little thing to... Um, Put like an activity table in here that she could sit at and like have a dedicated area for her to do her activities and i'm going to show you what the area looks like hold on so this is the area where we're going to put the activity table at i'm going to move this table because 
I was gonna have our bar area over here, but to be completely honest, I don't even drink alcohol anymore. So I was like, you know what? This table is literally just taking up space. Let me use this area as Elora's activity area. Um, so I'm gonna switch this table out for her activity table. And then I'm gonna put her little cube on this wall over here. I don't wanna show the wall because the window is open and I don't wanna um, compromise my privacy. But yeah, I'm like torn between doing that right now and actually like cooking dinner right now because I really want to make these protein and cabbage bowls that I've been trying to cook for the past, I don't know, four days. But honestly, I'm just not in the mood to cook. I know I need to, but I really want to do the activity table. And honestly, I don't even know how these protein and cabbage bowls are going to come out because this will be my first time making them this is like my spin on cabbage so i'm gonna put chicken shrimp and sausage sausage in the cabbage bowls my husband is on this like i want to lose 30 pounds by my birthday kick so i'm trying to be a good wife and support him and meal prep and do all of the things support my man however i can support him so um i'm gonna i'm gonna do her activity table and then the protein and cabbage bowls come out well i'll cook it again and i'll show you guys the recipe so um yeah i think i want to do this table realize that the cube can like stand the long way like vertically <laughs> see what I mean like I got to keep it like this but then the kids won't have access to the things in there because they're I mean Elora will but eventually Elena won't I want to pull out a few toys to put on the shelf because that was the point of the cube shelf being in there so they can pull out some toys that they want to play with when I'm in the kitchen occupied and they don't feel like helping me um, and you know they they like being in the living room near their father and I so I don't want to just be like go to your room and play you know I want to have an open area. I obviously want to have an open area for them, you know, to be a part of the family because this is also their home. So um, the goal is to set it up as if it is their home. Let me figure out what toys I'm gonna pull out. We recently received some Love Every boxes. Oh gosh, you Laura put stickers on everything, Jesus. We got some um, recent or current love every boxes for their ages. So I think this house will be good. I think I'm, I'm just gonna put a, a couple of toys and switch it out because we do toy rotations every week when the system is up and running. These are the storage bins that I got. I only bought two because I didn't wanna fill up the whole entire cube with the bins. And then obviously I'm gonna decorate the top shelf, put some plants and whatnot on there. I do have a chalkboard that is going to go on this wall here and I always write what we're having like the menu, the daily menu, the all of the things that we're going to eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the day on the chalkboard. I just have to hang it up so that's going to go above here. I'm definitely going to put this out. This thing is so cool. It's like a daily little chart thingy so it has like the day of the week has the weather, um, what attire is appropriate, has the weekend, the weekday, a school day, or like a home day. So this is really cool. She is, she loves this thing. So right now we are mainly working on puzzles um, for problem solving. She really likes this one, but it's 
way too easy for her <laughs> but i mean she likes it so I'm, I'm just gonna put it out and then elena loves this one so i'm gonna put this out for her here's another puzzle she got a bunch of puzzles for her birthday because that's what i told people to get her <laughs> and then there's this one toy that i this is like my favorite it's not even a toy it's like a mood board kind of but it has like these little wooden pieces and their emotion pieces and we are working on naming our emotions when we feel them even when we don't feel them i just want her to you know be able to say how she's feeling so these are like my favorite they have the little faces on them and then at the bottom it has what emotion the face is so obviously this one is sad and then they have angry so cute right oh my gosh they have happy calm worried like what and then this is her favorite frustrated <laughs> she always says mommy i'm frustrated i'm so glad that i found the little pegboard that goes with it because i thought i had lost it and i didn't i'm so happy and all of the pieces are here i'm sorry do you see what I did for you? Come here. Look, I put your, your thing out so that you have access to some of your toys. And there's your activity table. Yeah, you like it? Yes. Do you want to choose what toy you put right there? Ooh. Okay, so that's what we have for now. I still have to put their books uh -uh. in the bins so they have access to them. But unfortunately, right now, I have no idea where they are. It's cute. I still have to hang the chalkboard up over here. That's it. We'll do toy rotation probably every week or every couple days. I did put this lamp here just because this was already on the um, shelf in the room before we moved. I have to figure out the menu for next week. Um, I probably will still cook this protein bowl because I don't know it's already five o'clock you know what the next video might be it might be the meal prep a meal prep video but I also am super excited about the fall decorate with me we could get it tomorrow i always do my fall decorating either at the end of september or like the middle of september whenever the weather the weather starts cooling down is when i typically decorate for fall but when it's still 102 degrees outside it's not really 102 degrees it really doesn't reach over like 96 97 here but if it's still like in the 80s 90s i'm like no i have to wait until it cools down so get excited for all of the fall content that I have coming because it's gonna be, I'm just so excited about this channel. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Comment down below, let me know if you did and I'll see y'all in the next one or I'll see you in my Wednesdays upload on my BB channel.